Today we're going to be doing a titration and so some of the equipment that you need for a titration um, are here. First you need what we call is a burette stand. The stand is white on the bottom. It holds a burette clamp, okay? So the burette clamp holds our burette. And the burette itself, as you can see, the burette clamp is special is that the way we clamp it is that you do not uh, cover up the numbers so we can actually see the numbers. All right, and a burette, um, we'll look at it a little bit closer in a bit. The other equipment that you need will be a, a large beaker for a waste, a smaller beaker for to put our uh, base in, and we're going to need three Erlenmeyer flasks for trials one, two, and three. So let's look at our burette. Our burette is a way to deliver volume of one of the reactants to a, uh, to a particular volume of our other reactant, which will be in our Erlenmeyer flask. So let's look at the burette itself. The burette has a stopcock on the bottom here, and we control the stopcock by uh, turning it. It's when it's parallel with the burette, it's wide open. When it's perpendicular, it is closed. Um, the burette itself, if we go all the way to the top of the burette, the burette is labeled at zero milliliters on the top, goes all the way down to this burette is a capacity of 50 milliliters, okay? And um, we're going to put it in our uh, burette clamp, but uh, this is how our setup would be. We would put the tip of the burette into our Erlenmeyer flask, so every drop that comes out of the burette goes directly into the Erlenmeyer flask and we don't lose a drop.